behold, all of the stuff, all of the stuff. There's so much stuff, oh my God. Okay, okay, let's break it down. Okay, so let's start off with the core book itself. This is the Ryoko's Guide core book. It's got all your subclasses, the races, all the stat blocks, feats, magic items, all that good stuff. Got a beautiful illustration of the Koi Dragon on the front. Got the Ronin Ranger here. Can you see that? Is that coming through okay? Um, nice, thick, thick, juicy paper. Just not going to tear. Beautiful. Spirit Caller Sorcerer. That one just got released yesterday, I think. But yeah, beautiful little book. Then let's talk about the handouts. Okay, so this packaging isn't final, by the way. In the actual thing, these handouts are going to come in sort of a black matte envelope to keep them protected. There we go. Okay, so the first handouts are the wanted posters. So these are basically, these are the things that you can give to your players or the things that they'll find hanging on like a tavern wall or in the middle of town. These are like the... Uh, the adventure hooks, right? This is the first thing you see. So it's like a wanted, then you have a picture of the kaiju. We've got one here for Bakurio. We've got one here for this guy. And there will be one for every kaiju in the book, but these are just the pre-production samples. Just got two right now. They've got this nice back on them as well. Then we get to the actual handouts. So these are the things you can give your players as they're fighting the kaiju using the new kaiju fighting rules mechanics. You have this like nice shot of each kaiju. And then on the back, you have a schematic so they can see where they are on the kaiju. Um, sort of see its size. Lovely art as well. This is Bakke Kujira. I don't need to go through all of them, Bakke Kujira. This is one that's uh, basically the biggest one. This is like a walking monolith. Like it's just a huge bit of earth that just stood up and started walking around. Massive kaiju. And this is the Kabuto Beetle inspired one. Uh, this is like the, the kaiju that fights kaiju. And then you have these clues, which basically they come every adventure uh, in this book has like an adventure building up to the kaiju and your players will discover things, they'll solve puzzles, they'll get information from NPCs and people will give them clues to work out to how to actually fight the kaiju because they are more complicated than just attacking them. Uh, basically woven naturally into the story. And the cool thing about the clues is they come on perforated sheets of card. So th this is quite thick, you can't like tear them, but basically they're perforated. So when your players work out a puzzle, you can just, you can see I'm kind of just gently Taking it down, just want to make sure, there we go. So basically when your players solve a riddle, you can hand them this and this is information that you've had. And there you go. Hello Jess, there she goes. Uh, my dog just showed up. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's talk dice. First set is this beautiful uh, resin, these are soft edge resin yokai dawn dice. I don't know if they're gonna come through on camera, but you can kind of see they've got this like, uh, sunrise effect going on, uh, sort of blue, sort of nighttime blue into this sort of crimson, uh, like crimsony goldy kind of color. Uh, full set, uh, everything, you've got the percentile dice, you've got the D20, you've got the D6, everything there. They roll really nicely, uh, really lightweight, so easy to carry around. These are free, but they are only free if you back in the first 72 hours. Um, let's talk about these sharp edge resin ones. So these are the sharp edge kind, um, They've got, again, it's hard to come, I really don't think the camera can do them justice, but they've got this ink, can, yeah, thanks. They've got this like ink internal thing that runs through. It's sort of like this smoky inside. Again, they're, they're sharp edge resin, so they're higher quality. They're much easier to stack as well. So if you like stacking dice, these are the ones. Um, I think these come in the core box. And then the, the premium ones, the highest quality are these real jade gemstone dice. So. They're absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can hear on an iPhone microphone, but they are beautiful. These are these are all solid material, gemstone. They're not too heavy either, so you can roll them on a table. Like pure hard metal dice, they can damage a table. These won't damage a table. Because they're solid all the way through, they're perfectly weighted. It's all the same material, so they roll really well. And these are like the premium dice. You get these in the deluxe box only. Okay, so let's talk about the adventure book. So this is the book with the kaiju stat blocks in on three variations, so you can run them at any level. Every single kaiju, five kaiju, they all come at different levels. So there's a version at level seven, uh, CR7, CR14, CR21, for example. And then a different kaiju might have CR9, CR18, CR26. Um, so any level click can work it. And this book comes with, uh, I might just have to open it down here. Got this beautiful shot of Raikou on the front. Let's just kind of skip to the middle a little bit. 
Uh, oh, okay, so these are some of the magic items you can craft from defeating uh, him. This is the familiar, so we're on the Raikou page. This is the familiar you can get from defeating this creature. You can basically um, take a fragment of its essence and build a familiar that you can use. So this is that guy. This is a map that comes with the adventure. Every kaiju has its own adventure, and that's what this book is. It's nice, thick, um, perfect for like running them. And it comes with a, a bunch of more stat blocks and spells and stuff like that, everything that you'll ever need to run them. Cool. Um, and then, of course, Real quick, this is the art book. This contains all the stunning art and renders and the in-progress stuff, so you can see the process to inspire your world. It's got the reference images and interviews with the artists and Yo and Dai who created the lore. You've got this uh, Hanataka Tengo on the front, of course. I'll put some on screen. I'll put some of the art in progress on screen here to show off. Okay, so you also, in Ryoko's, get card packs. I've got two here. The third one is not here yet. The f in the final things, these boxes are going to have this cut out, like the old Yu-Gi-Oh! boxes where it's kind of like cut out and you can see the cards inside but this is just a prototype so it's just got uh, the picture there but that will be like kind of hollow and then inside you have this full deck of uh, tarot sized cards i don't know if you can see the quality on here but they've got this kind of nice sheen they're nice and thick um and i'll just got a few out here so basically this is stuff that you can use in your games you get the like yeah here we go like weapons that you can craft all these craftable weapons and of course craftable familiars um, and uh, magic items up here as well. This is another craftable familiar. And, uh, and then on the reverse side, you have the description of the item. So you can give this to your player who like, you know, this is the loot you find and you can either draw it randomly from the deck um, or you can kind of plan it ahead. This is the loot that you craft. And then they've got, the, they've got their sword here and they've got all the information about what it does on the back. Same goes for the spell card list. So that's this uh, in this box here. All these new spells uh, with art of the spell on the front. And then you flip it over and it's got a description of the spell on the back. So every new spell in the game is in this list. And again, if you learn new spells or if players find a spell scroll, you hand them this spell and they've got it, which is really cool. You gonna take them? Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, all of the magic items, they come at multiple rarity variants. So. This, this sword is like the, I think this is the, this is the uncommon version, but also in this deck, there is like a rare version and a very rare version. So you can, uh, basically as the game progresses, you can give them more powerful versions of each thing. Okay, so what is missing from this is the GM screen, which is currently in the post. It's got uh, three of the kaiju kind of spread across it. Um, so I think it's called the Wrath of the Kaiju GM screen. It looks amazing. And finally, we have the Bakuryu mini and this thing is massive and beautiful i just clipped this one together so um obviously in the final thing i clipped it together just for ease but in the final thing you're going to want to glue it together it is actually designed to fit on a normal grid so this is a game piece you can play with this this is a gargantuan sized base so if you put this on a on a grid like on a map it's going to fit and then of course uh yeah, next to normal, like a normal mini is like this high we'll get some shots of it next to a mini to show you um, but yeah it looks beautiful i love the face especially and uh, yes, she is Bakario. Uh, her stat walks in this book, obviously. And yeah, I'll put up some footage of it rotating as well um, for you guys to see, and some of the painted mini. I've got a painted version on the way, but it's currently at customs. So this is basically everything from Ryoko so far. This is all the pre-production prototypes. So tiny little things might change. These boxes are gonna get a little bit bigger, for example. Um, but yeah, this is everything we got so far. Ryoko is out right now, so Thanks so much, yeah, check it out, and I guess I'll see you next time. This was a lot of fun. Cool. Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here, huh? Look, the Yokai Realm is a land of trickery and wonder, where heroes battle earth-shaking behemoths. And, sure, usually die in the process, but it's not all bad. Explore the world as a shape-shifting kitsune, ruthless Tengu, or dragon-infused Nishikin. Wield primal forces as the new elemental bender class, harnessing over 40 new spells. Dance between shadows as the cunning shinobi wizard, or become a living weapon as the skeletal blade fighter. Harvest and craft a 
powerful personalized arsenal from defeated foes. Customize prosthetics to spew jets of flame or propel yourself through the air. Transform combat with a gargantuan scale kaiju battle system. But take heart, you won't be fighting alone. Make friends along the way with mischievous familiars and work with your allies to perform full party combo attacks. Paint your world with unpredictable monsters inspired by folk tales and yokai legend. Step into the yokai realms. Back now on Kickstarter.